Hey Jason, what's going on, man? Um, I got this video last night, and I was going to respond to it last night, but then I did the uh, moveon.org video. And then I found today, or someone was telling me at work today, that some big glacier just broke off. Some huge glacier up in the Arctic. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Broke off. What's going to happen is the, the glaciers melt are all melting. <clears throat> Damn it, excuse me. This was an inconvenient truth. This is something I've learned, but that the glaciers are all melting. The entire glacier is really melting at the same time, and all this water is starting to pool up in the middle of the glacier like a lake. And eventually what's going to happen is the glacier is going to break off, and like water is going to start, I mean, I think it already is kind of streaming off the glacier, but it's just like this, these giant lakes that have melted in the glacier are going to have access to the ocean. So all this water is going to rush out of the glacier, particularly Greenland, he said, and it's going to just pour into the North Atlantic, all this freezing, near freezing temperature water, and it's going to change the temperature of the Atlantic Ocean. All the, the high level, or all of the surface level current of the Gulf, I think it's the, fuck, not the Gulf Stream, maybe it's the Gulf Stream, I'm not sure what the actual current is called, but it comes up around Europe, up to the Arctic, and then back down along the United States, and the reason that Europe, the temperature is, is, is livable, is, is acclimate, the reason it's temperate is because of the Gulf Stream, I'm just going to call it the Gulf Stream, I think it is, and, uh, when this the Gulf Stream changes temperatures, everything's all hell's gonna break loose. It's gonna drastically affect Europe. This may be inevitable. I don't know how much damage we've done. I don't know how quickly we're gonna be able to turn this around. I think that we can turn this around, but we've already done some damage in. Unless we just all stop driving our cars like the government has got to take charge. The government has got to focus on this and stop focusing on the people that we're afraid of. Stop focusing on Saddam Hussein. Stop focusing on Osama bin Laden. It's just a name. There's people everywhere. Now, okay, that being said, I was last night I was watching a bunch of... Uh, this footage on Saddam on CNN over at KIFS and uh, man it was just showing like video of Saddam all this different video footage of him as they were talking about for like hour you know the whole hour throughout they show all this footage of Saddam and it was like show him standing up on a fucking stage or on a podium and firing this rifle into the air firing a pistol into the air and the people were just I really I was like realizing what that would be like if that was what we were born into and so many societies are born into that. This is kind of this democracy, this idea of democracy is really new. You know, in this, in this incarnation, it's very new. Republics have been around, but like this democracy where the people really are kind of empowered in a way. That, that's a new thing. It's, it's newer anyway. But, I, so I started thinking about this dictatorship and like how horrible this must have been for the people that lived in the Iraqi in, in the country of Iraq in the last 20, 30 years like this guy was a psychopath a, a complete sociopath had no compassion had no understanding of what other people were feeling was completely closed off to it completely isolated to it he was out of control and he was in such a position of power and just completely tormenting at everyone around him. And I've always been for the death penalty in, uh, in situations, I think, when someone murders somebody intentionally and has no remorse and, you know, will do it again. I'm not adverse to it. But don't hide it. 
I don't know. I've got mixed feelings because then I'm like, is it ever right to kill someone? Ever, 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 no matter what. Is that why we build jails so we don't have to? And I suppose Saddam could have rotted in prison. I think that people are afraid that if he's in prison, he's still going to be affecting people because he's going to be speaking. I mean, I guess you could put him in maximum security and lock him away from reality, but like, at that, you might as well kill him at that point. I, uh, I, I think that he, I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry, I'm nervous right now, like I felt like I was saying something and then I went off on this tangent and now I've lost it all, but it'll come back, it always comes back. I'm glad that he's not in power. And I'm glad that there's a democracy now in Iraq, even though it's new and there's a lot of violence. And I see what Bush was planning. He did what he wanted. He went in, took Saddam out of power, helped to establish a democracy. But these idiots didn't f realize that the language barrier is as causes as much fear as it does and I really believe that's why because the American troops are like aliens over there with weapons walking around and people can't communicate we don't know how to talk to them barely anyway if they do not of course not everybody but a lot of people speak Arabic not English and it's like how would we feel how would how would I feel if there were Iraqi troops spreading Islam and walking around with guns in my street changing my government I wouldn't be excited about it. I don't know. I don't know what I would feel. I mean, I think some people are down with it. Some people see it as a, a, a step towards openness. Like, I think the Islam faith bans, or the Islamic faith bans the internet. This is what Kif told me last night. I didn't know it was that extreme. But you know you gotta get people the internet information access has gotta be number one which leads me to oh I remember what I was gonna say I think it's fine that they executed Saddam Hussein I think execution is an option always and it's an extreme option but if someone's going to kill again fuck cause then I think not everyone, everyone can change Anyway, what I don't like about this is that they don't public, make it public. I think they should show it. They have to show it. Why the fuck aren't they showing it? Why are they hiding it? Why are we so fucking afraid of execution? If we're going to do it, then let's fucking show it. Let's not be afraid of it. That defeats the purpose of, of the process. What is it? It's, it's like perpetuating violence. It's destructive. You know, you want to fucking make, do a public execution or you want to do an execution, let's be civil about it and show everyone. I know it's gruesome, but let's show everyone. Let's see what we're doing. Let's be aware of what's happening. Because all that's... I think, you know what? You know why they don't show it? Is because they know that if we see it, no one will be for it. No one will want to put, do execution if they see it happen. I made myself watch Daniel Pearl's beheading. And that fucking changed me. I want to see it. I want to see Saddam get dropped with the rope. I want to see him land. I want to see the rope snap his neck when it, when it, when his body weight hits. You know when the rope gets pulled taut. And I want to see him struggle. And I want to see his face. And I want to see his eyes. And I want to see him fucking hang there. And I want to see his body die. If that's what happened, that's what I want to see. No, 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 not if that's what happened. That's what happened. I want to see it. What do we think we're doing? We're ignorant to it. We don't know what we're doing. And that's what's so wonderful about YouTube, and hopefully this will be up on YouTube. I haven't seen it yet. I've just seen him being led to the gallow and getting the rope around his neck. I want to see it all.
I think everyone should see it. Expose themselves to it. It's real life. It's real life. Nothing is taboo. We have to face our fear. Um, all right, man, I'll see you later.